Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. Well, I just picked myself up a brand new flagpole and holder kit. This is made by Flagpole Buddy and it's a 22 footer. So, yeah, as you know, if you've watched my channel over the years, I really like to fly a flag out in the desert and even at the RV park during the summer. Um, mostly it's just a fun thing I like to do, but it does actually help me find the rig if I'm hiking. And also, if people are coming over to visit, I can just say, hey, look for my, my usually I have my yellow happy face flag run flying up there. So my holder for the, the flag I had before, I've had it going on six or seven years. But recently, um, Anne bought me a new weather station and it needed a pole to mount on, so I've repurposed the flag holders, the old flag holders for that. So um, I was going to just get uh, new holders because I still have the old pole, but the old pole's kind of getting beat up and the, the little clips that hold the flag, the little rings are kind of worn out. So I decided to go and get myself a, a new, brand new flag pole with holders. And this is, like I say, flagpole buddy. I bought it with my own money. This isn't a, a, a freebie review or anything. Uh, I got this at a show. They also sell them on Amazon. So anyway, let's unpack this and see what we have. Okay, lots of doodads and stuff. So this kit cost me $139. That was their show price. Uh, the last kit I had was uh, a lot cheaper. It was around $79 or $80. But this one is a little bit higher higher quality, I believe. And maybe even longer. This is their, their longest one. They, they come in 22 feet, 16 feet, 12. So I got the 22. Might as well go really nice and high. And this is a, a fiberglass type pole. And it extends. This is the size of it. So it's easy to store. See it's only about four feet or so. Came with a storage bag. And then it can rings so it can fly two flags. Little ball for the top. This is pretty cheap actually. Plasticky ball. Um, and these I like because my other one um, sometimes would fall down, especially if it was up for a long time and I had some rainy weather and stuff. Um, it would it would collapse because it, it kind of just was held by friction. So we'd be in there and all of a sudden we hear thunk as the, the flagpole collapsed. So this is to, to put in to, to stop that. And here's the holder. Looks like it's made out of pretty good material. Nice it has a set screw there for the bottom. Hold the pole in place. And then this is so you can just, uh, from the ground, you can put your flagpole up or bring it down. It's just sort of similar to what I had, although this one seems a little bit uh, better quality material and a little more designed for the, the exact uh, diameter of the pole. And also like that it can be twisted and locked in different positions so you could actually angle your flag. And they give me a US flag. And a bunch of directions, a couple little Velcro pieces. So we'll go put the holder up first. On the ladder, looks pretty simple. Clamper in place, blah, blah, blah. So here's the setup that came with my old pole. And it's worked fine, but you can see the, that newer stuff's a lot more uh, skookum setup than this. And then there's my old pole. It's still serviceable, but it's, it's getting a little long in the tooth. So like I say, I'm going to reuse this for my uh, weather station pole. I'm going to move it to the other side of the ladder. The hardware is really a uh, high quality. These are uh, stainless steel by the looks of it with the uh, Allen heads on them. And then they even give you uh, nuts uh, with nylon in there, so like nylock, so they won't back off. There we go. So those sections just come out and twist. And then they got these nice little uh, locks here to keep it from collapsing. And I got my flag on the end. So I'm not a huge fan of these uh, clips. They always seems to they always seem to be the failure point every few years. I have to get some new ones. And I really don't like they give you a cheesy plastic ball 
wish they'd give you a little maybe a metal ball or something but there's all sorts of aftermarket stuff probably get maybe one of those solar solar lights to put on top instead so let's put her up to happy flying Easy peasy. So I'm probably just gonna have to tweak things on the ladder there. I'm hoping that the flag doesn't bend so much that it interferes with my weather station. I'll just have to watch out for that. So we'll see. In the meantime, it's good to have old happy face back up flying again. Till next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Cheers everyone.